What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Solid and welcome to another video. Today, we are going to go over the Supreme Spring Summer 2018 preview. Now, I just recorded this video, it was like 30 minutes long, and I need to try to condense this video down to like 10 to 15 minutes. That being said, there are a lot of items that I may not discuss or go over. But if you would like to hear my opinions about these pieces, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I will be discussing the drop all week. In fact, at 3.30 this morning, I woke up and I went over the drop live with you guys for like an hour. We just discussed the drop and just kind of just, I don't know, we just went over what pieces we liked. Everyone kind of gave their opinions about the drop overall. <laughs> overall, my opinion is that it's a sick drop. I will say, like I always say, about 50% is trash, but that's just my opinion. I think most people will think that just because Supreme drops so much stuff that there's going to be stuff all over the board for kind of all different styles of people. That being said, I will, that being said, anytime I get any information on drops or anything like that, I go straight to Instagram and I talk about it with you guys on live. So make sure you follow me on there. Also, anything I acquire, I'll be acquiring a lot of pieces this season, which you guys will see. There's a lot of personal cops and I'll be styling those pieces on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me, change your life, go do that. Anyways, let's get straight into the drop because we got a lot of stuff to discuss. And like I said, I do not want this video to be entirely too long. I'm gonna go over some of the pieces I like and some of the pieces I don't like. First of all, some of the trench coats this season are dope. For example, we got the infantry trench coat, which I like the style of this coat. However, I'm not a fan of the camo. I don't really care for the randomly misplaced white lines. We got the Hellraiser denim coat, uh, which I like the trench coat and I love the fact that it's Hellraiser because as a kid, I didn't have cable growing up. So I remember whenever I used to go to my grandma's house, she had cable and I would sit there and I would watch Hellraiser. I think that piece is extremely dope. However, I will not be acquiring that either because it's a denim trench coat and they both come with matching pants as well. And since I will not be acquiring the top, I will probably not be acquiring the pants for either. I would cop the Hellraiser pants if they weren't denim. Like denim joggers just seems weird to me. That being said, one of the trench coats I probably will acquire is this washed work trench coat. I think this piece is extremely sick. I love the all over print. Like this graphic is so dope to me. So I definitely plan on acquiring one of those. I also like that it's just subtly branded with the Supreme Classic logo on the left chesticle slash breastuses. Now, some of my favorite jackets include the Patches denim jacket. I think this piece is extremely sick. It kind of has like that grunge look. And if you are familiar with Washington, that grunge style is just something that's extremely influential here. This is like the birthplace of grunge. Shout out to Nirvana, Mud Honey, for those of you that only know Nirvana. But yeah, man, this is just like a super sick piece and I like, I don't know, I definitely want this. I haven't decided which color I want, whether I want like the washed black or the old school denim look. I like them both to be honest. Also the Vibrations Corduroy jacket with the matching pants. I hope to get the red colorway. I think this is a super sick look as well. I really like the studded Arc logo jacket, which is like the leather jacket we first saw. That was like the first official image from Supreme. And I think this jacket is sick. I really like the original color we saw with the green, red, and white, and then the black. However, I'm not a big fan of of the blue and light blue. I don't think it's bad, but it definitely does not compare to the like red and green and then the black color. I think the black color is kind of the piece that I kind of like the most if I'm being honest, just because this jacket is something I could see like my mom wearing back in the day, like when she was like a biker chick and used to hang out with bikers. And I used to go to the bar and I'd just kick it with a bunch of like biker dudes and I'd see them wearing their leather jackets. And I don't know, man, like this jacket is just a sick piece to me. I forgot the brand that this is inspired by, but it's inspired by some vintage brand. And then lastly, with the jackets that I need to discuss, or at least the jackets that I really like that are for my personal collection, these corduroy old English varsity jackets, I actually want two colors, possibly even three colors. I really like all the colors except for the white one, but my favorite color colors. My favorite two have to be the red and the purple and then the black and the white. Those colors are super sick. I need both those for my personal collection. I wasn't really a fan of the purple on red when it came to the box logo, but looking at this jacket like that is just so sick. And then the other piece is definitely the bandana track top with the matching pants. Honestly, I want all three colors. I want the black, I want the baby blue, and I want the red. Now there are some other tops that I think uh, are worthy of discussion, but they're not really ones that I plan on keeping, right? Like for for example, you have the uh, tape seam anorak that's got the big red stripe down the back that says Supreme. That's going to be like worth its money. You have the sleeve script. Like these are all pieces that I like, but I don't really plan on keeping. Also, you have the champion stuff. The Supreme champion stuff is actually really dope. The Supreme champion track jacket and hoodie both have the champion branding all the way across. You got some matching nylon pants that have champion branding on the leg. You got the Supreme champion pullover parka that's got Supreme embroidered on the back and the little champion logo right there. The skull pile jackets I'm not really a fan of. For those of you that don't know, the skull pile graphic is going to be used 
used on a lot of pieces this season. It's used on a bandana, a leather jacket, a work jacket. Uh, it's used on the pieces that I like, the hoodie and the vans, but the, the jackets themselves, I don't really care for. This graphic was popularized by Juicy J in the Stay Fly music video. The original graphic is from the brand Liquid Blue, which I actually forgot the brand of, uh, but it does say right here in the description, Liquid Blue. Now, some pieces that I think are absolute garbage. Uh, this eagle leather vest, the eagle looks like a little ball with wings, like it's just a, not a very strong looking eagle. Another piece are these like quilted patent vinyl work jackets, the faux for repeat bomber, like this is a piece that I want to like because it's such a flex piece that I feel like a lot of hype beasts will love, but the, the branding is just so lazy, like it doesn't, I don't know man, I'm just not a fan of this piece. I wish they would have done the repeat graphic a little bit better or... I don't know, man. I'm just not a fan of this faux fur. And even the colors they chose were just kind of weak. So I wasn't a fan of that at all. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's a, there's a lot of jackets that I don't really care for, to be honest. The mesh cargo vest, you look like a a stripper gone fisherman like I don't even know man there's just some weird jackets and then probably my least favorite or at least one of my least favorite is the world famous taped seam hooded pullover they have a matching pant in this and I just hate everything they put this graphic on it looks like first of all it's just supreme branded a thousand million times which I don't mind branding a thousand million times I like the FTP repeat logo I like a lot of different repeat logos but I just feel like this one doesn't look good this looks like a supreme Jurassic Park collab and I am not a fan of that there is this color blocked work shirt that kind of reminds have like a DuPont like button up but um, other than that there's not a whole lot oh there is the Supreme Hellraiser BDU shirt this comes in a red camo and olive and a black I hope to get that red camo one this is the Hellraiser piece that I like the most and so I definitely hope to acquire that piece there's a lot of pieces that I think are super sick in this collection that are kind of like this I don't know, they kind of have like this grunge look. When it comes to tops and sweaters, I don't like any of the knitted sweaters, the Argyle cardigans, uh, a lot of the tops are trash. There's really only a couple tops that I like. The stacked long sleeve top is okay, but with the blue camo and the yellow outline, I wasn't a huge fan of that like color choice. I love the bar striped tee, especially, honestly at first the only color I really liked was the black and white, but this like citrus orange and the pink is kind of growing on me for summertime i think that's gonna be a super sick summer tee a couple other pieces i like is the ink hockey jersey in the pink color i don't really like the other colorways but i think this would be a super sick piece to layer over a hoodie maybe size up get a large in that and then layer that over a hoodie uh, i also like whenever they do like their hockey jerseys because they have that little play on the ccm logo where they put the dollar signs in there instead the monogram football jersey is super sick as well this isn't a piece that i would rock personally however that being said it's just a super dope piece when it comes to like late 90s early 2000s streetwear and that's just like I don't know that's just a sick piece I like the mom tee of course because your boys and mama's boy I love my mama um I despise this like chest logo short sleeve knit top like a lot of their knitted tops are just absolute garbage to me but that's just my opinion of course if you have a differing opinion that's totally fine of course as per usual Supreme kills it with the sweatshirts there's a lot of super sick sweatshirts they have the illegal business hoodie this hoodie is super sick if you are a fan of boogie down productions or krs1 then of course i imagine you probably like this hoodie like myself i think this piece is actually better than the mock-ups i think it's a super sick hoodie and i definitely need one of those the sideline hooded sweatshirt i'm so glad to see that again that's super sick some of the colorways are super dope too the black and then you got like the green and the red of course you got the purple and the citrus oh <laughs> That is so clean. Like, I really, honestly, I want several of those. It'll be a hard piece for me to actually keep. I might end up selling those. I'm not quite sure. Another hoodie I really like is the Channel Hooded Sweatshirt. I think this piece is super sick. However, it does say Supreme 2018 like 80,000 times around the hood. I would have much rather it said something like Supreme World Famous or Fuck the World or illegal business controls America or maybe like a, you know, a combination of those phrases. But I don't know, man. Just saying Supreme 2018 like 2018. Like, I don't really care that it's 2018. I don't know, man. I'm just not a huge fan of that, but I do like the branding, and I think that the way that they implemented that is pretty sick. The placement of it is dope, and it's just kind of unique. It kind of honestly reminds me of a black scale hoodie that I really wanted where it's actually inside the hood, but it's all in like Arabic writing, if I remember correctly. I'm really upset that I did not get that black scale hoodie. I don't ever pay attention to black scale, which is why I didn't get that hoodie, but I don't know, man. I thought it was kind of dope. There's a lot of uh, sweatshirts that are cool, but there's also some really bad ones, like this slide arc crew neck. This thing is absolutely trash. It just says 
Supreme! Really, really big on the front and back, and that's, I'm not against that, I just don't really like the graphic. The reverse fleece hooded sweatshirt with no kangaroo pocket, that's disgusting. The striped hooded sweatshirt, disgusting. There's a lot of different hoodies that I don't really care for. The Cord Collegiate logo hoodie, I don't really care for the graphic, but I like a lot of the colors. The repeat zip-up, I'm kind of on the fence about. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I just feel like it's not as cool as like the FTP repeat logo, right? Or like the FTP fucked repeat, or whatever you want to, like, those repeat logos to me are way Way better than this Supreme repeat logo. This is better than last season's repeat logos, and I might cop like the hoodie and pants just to like flex in or whatever, take a photo in, you know, get some cool pics in. But I don't really think I'll keep those for my personal. I would much rather just keep my FTP repeat stuff. Normally, I love the half zips that Supreme drops. This season, their half zips are kind of lacking. Really, for the pants, we went over all the pants that I want to discuss. I guess the only thing to really discuss is the warm up pants. They do have these in a blue camo, and they got these in a plethora of colors. They got it in a pale yellow, a black, an orange, freaking purple purple, all these different colors. I will say one thing to keep in mind when it comes to these warm pants is they stack kind of weird around the ankle, especially because of the zipper. If you guys want to see how they look, of course, follow me on my Instagram. I have posted pictures in the full yellow camo suit. I'll leave a picture somewhere on the screen, but you can see quite a few pictures of me rocking those. And it's kind of hard to tell from one photo because obviously I'm trying to make it look as good as possible. But if you look at all the photos on my Instagram, you will see that it just kind of stacks weird around the ankle, especially if you're short. I think it looks better on tall people, but that's just my opinion. I still like the warm pants. They're really comfortable, lightweight nylon pants. They are kind of pricey, but I mean, nonetheless, I think they're pretty dope and I'll probably cop like two or three pairs. One thing I didn't see earlier is the corner art track pant. Right now, I only see this in a blue and green color. If this comes in other colors, then that might be pretty dope, but as of right now, that blue and green is looking absolutely atrocious. Now, moving on to the shorts. Someone called me out in the comments. They were like, yo, you said you don't like shorts when you did the palace review, but then you talked about these shorts that you do like. By the way, we got a final image of those shorts and those will be somewhere on the screen. So this is the thing, right? When it comes to shorts, the only shorts, only time I really wear shorts is if I'm swimming. And I like short, short swimming trunks and I'm very particular about my swimming trunks, I guess. I like them to be pretty clean, pretty simple, right? I don't really wear shorts for the sake of wearing shorts. Like if it's a normal summer day and I'm just chilling, I'm just gonna wear pants. However, when I went to Dubai, I got into short shorts because I didn't bring any shorts and so I just bought these short shorts kind of as a joke and then ever since then, I just thought it was funny so I was into short shorts and Supreme makes some short mid-thigh shorts. So I like their shorts, that's, wh that's why. I will probably only cop the swimming trunks. All the other shorts that you see in this collection, I'll probably not acquire. Uh, the only ones that I really plan on copying are the ARC logo water shorts which um, are kind of similar to the mock-ups that you saw uh, discussed in the leaks video I posted yesterday. Speaking of the leaks video I posted yesterday, there are a couple updates. So we have the teas, right? We have the chicken dinner tea. Like I said, I don't like that. We got the chair tea, which once again, like I said, I don't like that. The project tea we see is definitely gonna come in this like pale yellow color. So we know that that's gonna be one of the colors. I think pale yellow is going to be a color they use in quite a few pieces. We got the jellyfish tea. We got the FTW tea, AKA fuck the world tea. We have the necklace tea. Like I said, the necklace tea is super dope to me because it is inspired by the saliva album every six seconds. It's basically like a blatant copy. I said that in yesterday's leak video and I also mentioned that on my Instagram. One thing I did not know, however, was the Molotov tea. I mentioned that I like this tea, but someone actually mentioned that this is a graphic used on a Rage Against the Machine graphic tea. And I thought that was kind of dope. It kind of made me like it a little bit more. And it's also kind of dope because Supreme has used graphics from Rage Against the Machine in the past. So it's just kind of cool to see that like they're using this graphic. I mean, granted it's not like super original or anything, but I still think it's a pretty cool graphic and it's a pretty cool tea. Shout out to the commenter that actually informed me on that. I was not aware of that. Like I said, I don't really like, like, it's funny, right? Because sometimes I'll have like really like abstract knowledge about something and then people will be like, oh yeah, you probably just looked that up. But like, I always credit people when I don't know something. I never pretend to know shit. Like, I'll tell you guys straight up if I'm gonna look something up. You can go back. There are countless videos of me saying like, oh, I don't quite remember this or whatever. Like, usually the stuff that I know is the stuff when it comes to like, either certain artists or certain photographers or music. The cards tee and the chart tee is okay and then the ripple long sleeve tee is absolute garbage. That, that ripple long sleeve tee to me, it looks like something like from like Billabong or like Quicksilver or something. When it comes to hats, uh, I'm gonna breeze through these. There's a couple hats I like. The checkerboard camp cap. The S logos are super sick this season. Uh, the washed camp is pretty sick. It's got that like all over uh, print that that um, trench coat has and the pinwheel hat. I mean, there's a couple cool hats, but honestly, there are no hats like this. 
Supreme, when are you gonna bring back the cycling hats, bro? Like, these hats are so sick. These are kind of like the vintage polo hats. They have a much longer build like those hats. It says Supreme 2009 NYC. I love these hats. They're super comfortable and Supreme. I wish you would bring those back and do some different designs with those. Until then, I will not really care about hats. Now, bags and accessories, I think most people agree, even the people in the live that were saying the season is trash, I think they agree that when it comes to bags and accessories, they're killing it this season. The bags are way better than last season. All of them, the backpacks, the duffels, the waist bags, uh, the freaking shoulder bags. The only thing I don't really care for is the freaking skull pile denim tote. Maybe I'll get it, you know, to add to my tote collection when I go grocery shopping. But for the most part, I really just care about these duffel bags, these backpacks, and these shoulder bags. These things are so sick. I love the branding on the straps, and I just think that they are way better than last season. They're coming in this royal blue, black, red, and khaki. Uh, the royal blue is an absolutely disgusting colorway, but the khaki, black, and red are all mandatory. Now, last but not least, all we have left are accessories and skates. So when it comes to accessories, we have a bunch of items. We have the pinball machine. A lot of people are like, yo, why didn't you talk about the pinball machine? Well, because that came out after I shot the video. But supposedly, that is going to retail at $10,000. So what that means is I will not be copying it. However, I do plan on copying the Advanced Elements Pack Light Kayak. I think that's dope. The Supreme Tivoli PAL Bluetooth speaker. I've thought about acquiring that. However, I really don't think I will just because it's a Bluetooth speaker. I want them to do some like studio rocket speakers. Like that would be so sick. Supreme, try to collab with Rocket, please. The Supreme Rawlings Catcher's Mask is pretty dope. The Pendant this season is also really sick, which is cool because the last two seasons, the Pendant has been absolute trash, at least in my opinion. The Cartridge Flask is so dope. That piece is is so sick to me I love that piece the light vest is sick the large and small metal boxes are sick the Zippo is sick the mason jars the jar set is so dope I don't really know what I'm gonna use those for I know a lot of people were saying for weed but I don't smoke so maybe I'll put some like tea in there or maybe I'll make some jam and put my jam in there I even though I can't really like make the jam in those so I would have to make the jam and then transfer the jam in there for those of you that don't know summertime's coming up and you know your boy's gonna be in the kitchen making his own jam I'm gonna go down to the waterfront pick some blackberries and make my own jam because my jam is better than anything you get at the stores um the luminade pack light nova that's gonna be a piece that I want to cop for like camping and stuff like that the supreme traveler water bottle I want to cop that for camping and stuff like those are just like hype beast camping accessories at the end of the day you could get like cheaper alternatives that don't say supreme on them just being real um they are dropping some supreme hanes checkered boxers and tagless tees they're dropping the skull pile bandana the supreme seal line C pouch small and large these are just roll up pouches like uh, waterproof pouches that you can store stuff in uh ballpoint pens hair bobbles bunch of keychains just a bunch of stuff they're also dropping a keychain that's like a a portable breathalyzer however i don't know if they're taking that away because you don't see that actually in like the view all section you have to actually click on the accessories and then click next 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 same with the mophies for some reason they don't have the mophies listed either but they're dropping the exact same mophies as last season but they're dropping some black ones as well i didn't even see the mophies duva had to actually tell me about the mophies and then you guys told me about the breathalyzer and then last but not least we have the uh, skateboard accessories and all i really care about is the lee logo skateboard they're doing a bunch of work with lee quinones and then uh, the skull pile skateboard and the illegal business skateboard i do like those decks and i also really like the skull pile skateboard box logo deck and the illegal business skateboard deck of course like I said shout to boogie down productions KRS one man but that is everything hopefully this video is not too long hopefully after editing I can condense it down to 15 minutes but thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think of this season down in the comments below what are your favorite pieces what are your least favorite pieces etc etc like I said if there's any piece that I did not go over and you want to hear my opinions on make sure you follow me on my Instagram my Instagram is at the starlight there'll be some on the screen and the description below also a lot of the pieces that I mentioned in this video I will be taking some fire pictures in once they come out and posting on my Instagram so make sure you change your life and go follow me thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart I got another video coming very soon and I am talking so freaking fast thank you so much peace the fuck out. KRS1 come to start some hysteria. Illegal.